Hi, so I've done a review, a quick hands-on on the macOS Ventura before, and it's still in beta, it's in developer beta too. And one of the things we talked about was the stage manager. And at that time, I wasn't sure what the use cases will be. Having used stage manager for a couple of weeks, I'm now convinced that this is a really useful feature and Apple is onto something. So I'm just gonna show you my use case. For example, if I'm coding, right? So typically I will have an editor on this side, I will have an iOS simulator on this side because I wanna see what's going on. Um, and I'll have them position. But sometimes I will also need to open up the browser to look up something. For example, uh, I could be using the Firebase console and so I also want that. As soon as I do that, the browser is hidden, uh, sorry, the simulator is hidden and so on. And so it gets a little cluttered after a while. And of course, that's exactly the problem that Stage Manager is designed to solve. So you just go here, open up Stage Manager, and as soon as you do that, you get this one window over here and everything else goes onto the side. So that's useful enough. But I've discovered that, especially in coding or these kind of environments, these use cases, which is very, very useful because I see not just that the uh, simulator down here, I also see a little preview of the screen. So if I were to go ahead and actually run it, like so, then it starts launching, and but in, I can still see it coming up on the little window on the left side. And while that is happening, I can actually go back to the browser, um, you know, maybe open up a new window. Actually, I want to take a look at the database, which is at the back end of this thing and I can do all of those things while this is happening. And as soon as that comes up, I will get this little preview over there, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, this is Flutter, and of course, the first run of Flutter does take time. I've talked about this before uh, in other videos, and that's exactly the point. Rather than waiting for it or having it full screen simulator all the time, I can just let it run in the background while I do other things. So I can go to PubDev, look at some libraries, and uh, if I want to quick, take a quick look, yes, it's still running, no problem. I go back to my browser, and uh, do whatever I need to do. So this makes it very handy, and as soon as it comes up, as you can see, you get a little preview here. It's a live preview, and so I know now that it is ready to go. And so I can just bring it up and take a look at it, and I can also now go to the uh, the editor, and the preview is still there. And of course, it's a live preview, and this is uh, Flutter. So if I were to now go to screen this, and uh, for example, change one of the colors just to see what it looks like, um, immediately you can see that the little change over here is reflected as well. So that's handy enough as it is. And of course I can still uh, drag it up and maximize it if I want to see both. So that's still possible. And then when I don't want this view anymore, I don't want the full view getting in the way, I can just minimize it. It goes to that side and uh, I can just carry on with my work. So that's quite handy. And then if I were to also say, look, I want to test this not just in the uh, iOS browser, but also in the uh, Android one. So I can open up that as well now. So I'll open the uh, Pixel mobile emulator now. Let it open up, and again, um, it's gonna open up on this side, and I can just uh, let it be. And while I wait for it to come up, I can just keep an eye on that little preview, keep carry on with my work, and uh, when it's ready, I will know. There we go, as you can see, it's ready now. And so as soon as it's ready, let me just run it as well. So I'm now gonna run it on Android this time. And the same thing, right? So that is uh, going to come up over here and I will be able to see it. Meanwhile, I might decide to actually go ahead and look at some of the uh, other things that I've been meaning to look up. And uh, all the while, this thing is running in the background. So this, 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 this use case, this workflow, I'm finding it actually quite handy. Um, I do have a lot of stuff. And one other thing is that if once you are in Stage Manager, it also removes any other clutter from your desktop, right? So there are some files on my desktop, but you can't see them right now. What I can do is I can just click on the desktop and that minimizes everything and those files are back. So if I have a bunch of screen assets sitting there, they're gonna be. In the meanwhile, as you can see, the Android emulator is coming up. And so that visibility to me in the side panel is, 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 is very nice, right? So I can just, now I know it's ready. Uh, because you could always have these things minimized down here as well, but then you couldn't get the preview. So I think it's the preview that's the killer feature for me. And I can now go back to this, and let's just do one thing. If I go to screen intro again, and for example, change this to blue, and uh, I say, well, blue is better. And so this one is blue, that's the Android. Of course, this one, uh, the iOS is not running anymore. So let me just do this. I bring this up, but I can also drag the iOS quickly. And now I have a side-by-side -side view, right? So whatever changes I make, uh, let's go into this, because that's still running, although that's not running from the editor, but it's running. And this, uh, so this is running as well now. And now I go down, and if I make a change over here, I can just quickly bring up both of them together and see them. So you get the idea. I think the workflow is, is, uh, is fluid, it's useful. I think there can be a few more tricks added up to make this even more useful. For example, the automatic placement of windows in optimal positions, um, 
you know, left, uh, push to the left, push to the middle, middle third, and so on would be useful. But as it is, this is turning out to be more useful than I thought. Uh, the other use case, by the way, I'm not going to demonstrate it, but I found useful is in Zoom calls, right? So you typically have a little Zoom window over here, but you're also looking up typically a bunch of documents that you want to talk about, and they can just all live here in this panel. You can keep an eye on it, and if you maximize one of them, you can still keep an eye on the conversation in the small preview window. So I think Apple is onto something. I'm convinced. I think this is going to be a very useful feature, and I'm surprised that I'm finding it, using it much more than I had anticipated. So this is still developer beta, but as soon as the final version come, uh, comes out, you guys, uh, everyone else who is not on the developer or the beta program will be able to use it. And uh, I think you're going to like it. So give it a shot. Thanks.